Good afternoon. Let me just grab the, um, the pointer. I'm totally aware that um, I'm between uh, uh, lunch, so I will try to be quite brief and try to give you and tell you a little bit the story about Via Verde and um, what have you, have you been trying to do uh, in this topic of sustainability, mobility, and related with all these trends that we actually heard today. And I will try to be quite seamless, like our mission, so it's, uh, somehow it's strange if we think that Via Verde, a company that is related with tolling, how do, you, do we intend to change the quality of life of people and actually make it, make it more seamless, uh, uh, safe and sustainable? And uh, we started around 30 years ago, and technology has evolved quite a lot since then. And what we have tried to do is to incorporate all of these trends that we somehow uh, have been hearing today. We, uh, and I'm saying that we are trying, I'm not saying that we have concluded it yet, because it's quite difficult to, to do it, as uh, our colleague from NOS just said. And we started, okay, so uh, who wants to pay toll? Nobody, right? So <laughs> more than 30 years years ago, what we tried to do was to simplify um, the payment of toll for our customers. And so we uh, innovated with a device that already existed, so we kind of articulated the architecture and the technology and put it in place so that you can go through uh, past the toll plaza and actually don't have to do anything. You just go and instantly you are charging your account. And we evolved. So some years later, we brought that technology out of the tolling environment and brought it to the off-street parking. So you can use it again, go to underground parks and use the same technology. You can have it also in the same account and basically you don't have to do anything. And we continue to evolve until 2013 and uh, applied it to other different businesses. Technology has quite evolved in that time, and, and as you can see from the device itself, that of course was a big chunk and nowadays is a small, uh, uh, a small device. And we try to um, stay and continue to simplify the user experience associated with experiences that are not so, so good at some point. And we looked inside and tried to see um, how, can you how could we continue to be relevant and um, have the users using our, our, our products. So we, we looked inside, we saw, well, we aggregate different merchants, and actually for this, uh, we are in the middle. So we group merchants, different services, and on one side, and on the other side, we have the users, the final user, people like us, or other businesses. And in the middle, there is Via Verde with, with the OBU. But then we were in 2015, and technology was continuing to change a lot, and the mobile phone was actually uh, uh, something that was becoming quite predominant. So we thought, I mean, what can we do to continue to be relevant? And what can we, can we do to incorporate these new, new technologies, new trends in our business so that we continue to give value for our customer? And actually, uh, and uh, Joseph uh, spoke of it uh, in, the, in this presentation, it, it has been a transformative uh, uh, journey. It has been a change of paradigm. So it, we looked internally and we, we need to think, what should we do and how could we start this journey to put ourselves in a different position uh, in, in the users' lives than uh, we were before. So, uh, you are touching me. So, so basically, yeah, uh, we were focusing, f we went from focusing from the vehicles, so we were inside the car and we actually wanted to leave the car and focus on the people. And uh, we were focusing on the OBU, and we started to focus on another way of payment, like the mobile phone. Sorry, is this? Yeah, sorry. Still continuing to be a seamless way of payment that could integrate different mobility uh, operators, because, of course, we are much related with mobility, always looking for moving people from one place to another and also have this in an integrated and simple way, which, of course, in it has, it's not always uh, simple. 
So if you look at some trends, and we've, we've heard this uh, also this morning, uh, and I give you the slide about the strategy of the European Commission on Mobility, there are three main trends related with sustainable mobility, where we look at uh, uh, new vehicles, uh, reduction of emissions, and how um, different modes of transport, considering multimodality, can have also an impact on this. A smart mobility, we're looking at these digital ecosystems where you can have everything in one place, where you make use of the different data. And this is something that we, always, we also have, but it's also very difficult sometimes to extract the value of the data. It's not necessarily related to the fact that you have much data, you can automatically re relate and, and bring value from it. And a, a third one, resilient mobility, which is related pretty much with the post-pandemic era and how uh, we become in Europe more resilient to, to all these transformations. So we have been uh, trying to, to do something in these uh, different fields, and that's why we are trying to create what we call a digital ecosystem around the different services providing the user a, a relevant experience. So I've told you about off-suite parking. So we now also um, included in this evolution for the smartphone, the on-street parking. So we could not do it only with the OBU, and the OBU is pretty much focused uh, in the car and in the user. Um, and we wanted to leave it space for other people that did not used to pay toll or doesn't usually pay toll in their day-to-day, -day, be able to also uh, convene of this uh, experience. Also, uh, looking pretty much on electric mobility at the same time, again, not only specifically for the user, so opening this, the, the experience to other people outside uh, our ecosystem, and uh, pretty much providing the possibility for everyone to uh, charge their vehicle uh, whenever necessary without having to be a specific uh, via the client. And also looking at the different shared mobility spectrum opportunities in the space, like we, we have been told. This is pretty much related, of course, with transports, where we want to, to, to work on, and also uh, in a topic of a single app. And, and, and our colleague from uh, MasterCard uh, talked about it, which is quite difficult sometimes because uh, we have been uh, building different blocks in our services, and of course, nobody wants to use three or four or five apps for the same thing. But it's quite difficult for you to put everything in a, in a, in a single place. And, and technology, of course, has evolved a lot, but you still have different challenges on it. And we're trying to, to work on that to provide better experiences, of course. Uh, we, we have been discussing a little bit also about uh, um, artificial intelligence, of course. There's a long way, and Via Verde is not uh, uh, near uh, what other companies are, of course, doing, but we have been trying to take first steps on that because we have seen that for the customer service, where we have been experiencing sometimes uh, lower, lower service levels or um, lower efficiency in the response to, to our customers, great opportunities to, to do this. So we, st we started, we are looking at it at three different perspectives, written channel, voice channel, and also self-care. And just to tell you a little bit that nowadays, uh, in the different uh, channels that you use, you are already using uh, or talking to a bot or um, ha having a response uh, at, at some point. So we are using an IVR bot for you where you can be, um, uh, you can be someone, a uh, bot can, uh, can uh, answer you. A written channel, channel automation for the aggregation and the, for the optimization of the process. And we're also working on having a self-care and some automation implementation. So this is not easy. Uh, so the results have been interesting, but still there is a long uh, work to do because it's not just easy to say that we have all of these technologies, we just need like to put it in place, but it's not that it, you know, you have to, um, have a, a change not only inside your house, because all the people that used to perform the work in a different way, but also uh, in, invite the customer to do things that he's used to do in a different way. So there's a lot of uh, a change around uh, all of these uh, topics that uh, uh, has been trying to do. So we're looking to, to different services, like I've been, I've been, been telling you, this is something, uh, a journey that's uh, starting to be done. 
uh, it's not done yet. Um, there's several things going on. We're looking at uh, these different trends, the different technologies that are evolving in order to be able to provide and integrate these different aspects of technology, of data, of information, uh, not only to our business, but of course to our clients. And we see like ourselves in the future, like uh, we have been discussing today, having uh, a relevance in the path and the, in a way uh, a final user do this is different mobility journeys across the city or across another different travel. Thank you very much.